Hi there, Gemini! And welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot! This is your tarot forecast for the week of August 1st through to the 7th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have Major Arcana of the Devil in reverse, followed then by the Two Pentacles upright. Next, we have the Queen of Wands in the upright. Next, we have the Page of Wands upright. And lastly, we have the Two of Swords reversed. Overall energy, Gemini is the Capricorn energy, uh, the devil in the reverse position, indicating your willpower will be super strong this week. Um, also, too, you, for some of you, perhaps you're overcoming certain fears that held you back in the past. You're not letting that happen this week. You're moving full scale ahead with confidence. Um, you're not letting anything hold you back. I've been feeling that for Gemini's for a while now. You're on the move, you're on the go, and you know, you're working towards goals and getting things done. Um, the devil in reverse can also indicate overcoming obsessions and addictions and things like that. Uh, strong willpower if some of you are, you know, concerned that you might be breaking your diet this week or, you know, falling off the wagon or starting to smoke again what have you nobody's going to be able to tempt you you are resisting temptation left right and center gemini's got uh some ambitions going on and they're not letting anything stand in their way right at the beginning of the week we have the two pentacles here in the upright position indicating harmony in the midst of change i've been telling you guys for a while you know uh change is coming for for gemini and it's meant to be you're at the coming towards the end of your 12-year cycle with Jupiter. I'll get more into that uh, next year when uh, you guys are getting ready to start anew. But for now, Geminis are starting to mix it up a bit, change things up as you should be when Jupiter is in your uh, 10th house like it is for you right now. So two of pentacles can indicate sometimes juggling Gemini's uh, wrote the book on <laughs> juggling. You could be juggling two different people. Perhaps you are dating two different people. It's all going smoothly. If you are transitioning from one job to the next, it goes smoothly or from one home to the next. Whatever is happening in terms of movement, it's going, f it's flowing very, very easily for you right now. Gemini. It's very, two of pentacles, very balanced energy. So you, you could be balancing out things, could be weighing out things, even your financial situation, perhaps your checkbook and so forth. Next card up is the Queen of Wands in the upright position. It is a core card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising. Now, the Queen of Wands is known as a real go-getter. This could be a person in your life, but we can always embody the energies of these um, royal cards. So it could be you on the move, you're getting things done, as I keep saying to Gemini, you're getting things moving. Sometimes the Queen of Wands can indicate uh, perhaps a need to travel or uh, even to go on an adventure, but you've got to move your body. You've got to keep going. You, uh, you're you on the move. You're on the go. <laughs> and this could be someone external to you. Queen of Wands could be someone such as your, your husband, your wife, your BFF, what have you. Perhaps they're poking and prodding you and getting you to get things moving and get things going. Could be someone in your life who's just a real go-getter. Could be a business partner even for some of you. Next card up is the Page of Wands in the upright position. More fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is a messenger. The page can sometimes represent younger people. Could be someone younger in your life who is sending you a message. Good news, exciting news. I love the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands brings in um, something fast to, again, it's wands, it's speed. Something is happening uh, very quickly. Could be even you yourself want to shout this news from the, the from the rooftops. You want to tell everybody what's going on and what's doing. Others of you, this could be somebody who is messaging you who's very adventurous. Um, could be... Um, wanting to go travel with you could be a travel agent even uh, messaging you letting you know what your itinerary is others of you uh, this could be representing um, even if you're waiting for a package or some of us uh, have been waiting and waiting and waiting uh, back order you know items due to um, the delays so it could be that you finally get your 
you know, your item that you've been waiting for for a long time. Some of you could be very important to you. This item that has been on back order, it's exciting. Again, it's just a general read. Just take what resonates for you, what clicks for you. But yeah, it could be something very, very exciting. And I think it helps you make a decision because the last card you have is the two of swords in the reverse position. So this indicates um, finally having the clarity and the information that you need to make an informed decision. So for some of you, perhaps this is your travel agent um, letting you know what's going on in terms of what you could possibly be doing for for travel whether it's you know travel for work or travel for for pleasure it could be now that you have the information from this person you're able to make an informed decision for others of you this could be on the romantic front perhaps they're messaging you and you have decided to perhaps uh, message them back <laughs> and something could be starting um, very exciting for you but um, others of you, perhaps there's just a decision being made. I think because of, of this wands stuff, this is all movement and it could be connected to business. It could be connected to travel. Um, but there's, there's something going on here, very exciting and very fast moving. And I think you're just kind of all over it, Gemini. You just, you know, you just want to move forward. You have two twos here, very, you're weighing something out. You're balancing something out. But you're moving straight ahead and quickly. So interesting. Please do leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonated for you. And do tell us how so. Because inquiry minds want to know. I hope you have a fantastic week. Thank you very much for joining me. And um, if this reading helped you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.